excited about the Hitchcock movies showing at the Opera House. My name is Christina and this is Holly. And in honor of the Hitchcock movies, Holly is going to walk us through Hitchcock's favorite drink. So Alfred Hitchcock loved the White Lady. He tends to, in all his films, have an entire, in general, food and drink theme. You can go back to the beginning of his films all the way to the end of his career. He likes alcohol, he likes food. It's a very prominent part of his work. So the White Lady itself is a variation of a sidecar, which is a 1920s drink. And what it is is just lemon. And in this case, since it's a White Lady, it's gin, but an actual sidecar is vodka. And then it is triple sec or some sort of orange liqueur. In general, most drinks from the 1920s and earlier are going to be very simple, two, three ingredients like that. A very traditional version of the White Lady has egg in it. If I were to serve it here, I would not be having egg in it due to obviously health code, as well as Alfred Hitchcock hates eggs. Literally hates them. So making the drink itself is really simple. Technically, the best way to do it is to have regular bar materials. So you know your jigger for measuring, you want your Boston shaker and you want your hopper and strainer. On the other hand, if you're at home and making this, it's really not that hard. You just need to actually measure out your ingredients. That's the key thing. In order to have this taste right, a martini has to be balanced. So you don't want to have too much of one or too little of another. Cocktails are a craft. That's why we actually measure everything out. And this one is actually a really good jigger for measuring. It has one ounce, half ounce, and quarter ounce on one side. And the other side is one and a half, three quarters, and one third. So you're really able to get everything you want out of just this one instead of needing two or three of them. Same with the Boston Shaker. Boston Shakers are better than cocktail shakers. They tend to not fall apart as easily. Um, they just get a really good flavor, especially if you're going to be doing a traditional white lady with the egg. You're going to get that frothiness that you need out of the egg because you are doing a dry shake for your first shake, which means without ice. Fun fact, that's actually why cocktails became popular was because of ice. Before that, cocktails were served warm. They actually started out in, I want to say, the first actual writing about it was 1768, if I remember right. And it was a newspaper in England that called it a cocktail in general. And all it was was a spirit, water, and some sugar and some bitters. So then you move on in time and you eventually get to the point where you have actual cocktails where you start getting your liqueurs in it, which is what triple sec is, triple sec's liqueur. After that though, it rises in prominence exponentially once ice becomes available because all of a sudden you can have delicious cold drinks because who wants a mint julep that's warm? But let's get started. So we're going to just start with our liquors. We're going to use a dry gin. Then you have one ounce of triple sec. It is a two on one measurement, which lemon, so you can measure it in different ways. A lemon itself is going to very rarely have any more than about one ounce of juice in it, which is like two tablespoons, give or take two to three. So you can just do straight whole lemon, squeeze it in. I find that easier. I like fresh lemon juice too. So that's why I go with a fresh lemon. When you're doing your lemons for cutting, just roll it out first so that we break up the membranes. That's why you roll them and it's easier for squeezing. We're going to do the first one as a Alfred Hitchcock style. We're not going to do the dry shake with the egg and everything quite yet. So I'm going to add my to this. I'm gonna put our smaller shaker back on it. This is where you put like a pint glass or something on top of it. Uh, Boston shakers come usually with both ends. So shake it for about 15 seconds until it's cold. All right, so take that off. Then you're gonna put your strainer on it, get it pushed all the way up to the front, and then you're going to wanna put either a martini glass or a coupe glass or a coupe glass, depending on what you want to call it. Strain it in. The reason we strain is so we don't get the seeds, we don't get ice chunks, we get all of that perfectly strained out. And then you can garnish with lemon, but that is Alfred Hitchcock's White Lady. Now we're gonna do the traditional way. egg white specifically. So with this, you're gonna do a 15 second dry shake. I 
and we add the ice. So it this background. And now, there's our chicken. But this is the one with the egg, so you can actually see the visual difference between the two of them side by side. All right, so if you do want to make White Lady, it is only two ounces of gin, one ounce triple sec, and about an ounce of lemon, which is whole lemon, generally speaking. And you can make this at home, really easy to do. You don't have to have all the tools I have, they just make it easier to make. You can definitely do this with other equipment and it will turn out just as tasty. So come visit us at the Woodstock Opera House. If you'd like to find out more information, please visit our website at woodstockoperahouse.com. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, and smash that like button. Cheers! Cheers!